Rick the Road Roller is at the construction site today. He helps Danny the Digger and his other friends by making surfaces flat and safe to drive on. Without him, vehicles would have a very bumpy ride. Rick can flatten soil, sand, concrete, tarmac or even gravel. Ah, it looks like Celia's filling that deep hole with concrete. When concrete dries, it's rock hard and good to build on. Oh no, look out Rick, don't roll into that concrete, it's only just been poured and it's far too deep. Uh oh, too late, oh dear, Rick is stuck and Caroline the Crane's at another job and she's not here to pull him out. This looks like a job for Helen the Helicopter. Go, go, Helen! Let's get you back to the garage and fix you up. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Did you enjoy your flight, Rick? Let's take a good look at you. Oh dear, you're well and truly stuck in that concrete. Don't worry, the mechanicals will get you out in no time. Go, go, Mechanicals! It must have been an awful shock. To get stuck in concrete, that hardens like rock. Please don't worry, without a doubt, the Mechanicals jackhammers will break you out. There, as good as new. Let's go outside and test your roller to make sure everything's in full working order. Careful Mechanicals, stand well back, we don't want you getting squashed. Ok Rick, squash those shapes. The first shape to squash is over here, a big round ball we call a sphere. Rick rolls it flat and then we find, a circle has been left behind. A big tall pointy pyramid second shape that Rick has hid. Rick rolls it flat and now we've found a triangle left on the ground. This one has six faces all the same, a cube is its name. Rick rolls it flat and now down there we have a perfect flattened square. The final one to be destroyed, a shoebox shape. It's a cuboid. Rick pushes down, the shape is mangled and now we have a flat rectangle. Very impressive Rick, looks like you're back to your old self again. You better get back to the construction site, Danny the digger will be worried about you. I'm glad we could get Rick out of that concrete and back to normal. He'll have to watch where he's going in future, so that he doesn't get into any more trouble. See you all again soon. Bye! There's a new vehicle in town today. Her name's Evie. She's clean and quiet and speedy. Evie's driven a long way today so she wants to stop off at Gecko's garage for a rest. Oh dear, what's happened to Evie? She was zooming along and now she's slowed right down. She must be very tired. You'd better get over to Gecko's garage Evie, quickly, uh, I mean slowly.
Hello, Evie. You seem very slow and sluggish. Hmm. I think you might need refueling. Drive round to our fuel pumps and we'll soon get you sorted out. Right now, let's get you filled up with fuel. Oh, where's your fuel cap? Hmm, that's very strange. I can't see it anywhere. How can we fill up your fuel tank if there's nowhere to put the fuel in? Something seems wrong here. Head into the garage and let's have a good look at you. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Evie turn. Evie looks like a normal car, but where does her fuel go? And no exhaust pipe either. What's wrong? I just don't know. There's something that I'm missing, a nagging little doubt. I'll wake up the mechanicals to check her engine out. Go, go, mechanicals! What, what, what's going on? It's empty. Evie, where's your engine? How can you drive around without an engine? Oh, Evie. Oh, E, V. E, V. Electric vehicle. Of course. Evie is an electric car. Instead of a petrol or diesel engine to power the car, Evie has electric motors that drive her wheels and batteries hidden under her seats, which store all of the electricity she needs. That's why she's so quiet. She doesn't have an exhaust pipe belching out nasty fumes or a fuel tank because she fills up with electricity instead. Evie. You need to be plugged in to charge up. We have two regular fuel pumps, but no electric car charging point. We'll have to install one. I'll get Florence the forklift to bring the parts over and we can build one. Well done, Mechanicals. That's looking great. The electric charging point is connected to the solar panels on the garage roof that Chelsea the cherry picker helped us to install. Here's the charging cable. Now, where on Evie do we plug it in? Brilliant! Evie has a charging socket hidden in her nose. So now Evie can fill up with clean electricity using energy from the sun. The charging station tells us how full of electricity Evie is. Look at those numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She's full up. Fantastic! Thanks for visiting us today, Evie. Have a safe journey. Call in and see us whenever you need a top-up. And we'll see you again soon too. Bye! Hello everyone! Dr Poppy's acting very strangely today. She's asked me to come over here to the spare parts store to look for some traffic cones. But I can't find them anywhere. Hello everyone. It's Gecko's birthday today, so I'm trying to keep him away from the garage while we set up his surprise birthday party. Lots of Gecko's friends are here to help out, and we have a list of things to do. We need balloons, ice cream, music, a birthday cake, games, guests, gifts, 
and some party hats. Well, it looks as if the balloons are nearly sorted. Well done, Mechanicals! Here comes Vicky the ice cream van. You can't have a party without yummy ice cream. And here's Amber the ambulance. The loudspeaker on her roof will be great for playing party music. I wonder how Gecko's getting on at the spare parts store. I hope Florence is keeping him busy. This spare parts store is such a mess. I can't find those traffic cones. Let's keep looking, Florence. We have balloons, ice cream and music ticked off the list. Now we need to make a birthday cake. First, we need the ingredients. Dylan is carrying the flour. Sid has the sugar and the cocoa powder. And here comes Trevor with butter and eggs, fresh from the farm. We need to mix all of the ingredients together. I know, just the mixer. Celia! Now the ingredients are mixed and poured into that giant cake tin, we need to cook the cake. Hmm, it's far too big for my kitchen oven. What are we going to do? I found this controller for the truck wash, Dr Poppy, and it appears to have a party setting on it. Shall we see what it does? Great idea, Robbo. Press the party button. Wash has changed into a giant cake baking and decorating machine. Let's put it in. Look at that cake rise! Now the birthday cake is getting decorated. The icing is green, just like Gecko. And finally, the cake just needs a few candles. Brilliant! That's the cake done, so we're nearly ready. I wonder if Gecko has found those cones yet. <laughs> oh dear, the traffic cones are orange. We've sorted out all of the orange things, but still can't find them. Keep looking Florence, they must be here somewhere. What do we have left on our list? Games, guests, gifts and party hats. Ah, here come the games! Ryan has a piñata filled with sweets. And Sophie has a giant parcel ready for a game of Pass the Parcel. And here are all the guests with their gifts for Gecko. Just the party hats left to get. Found them! Phew! Come on, Florence. Let's take all these cones back to the garage. I wonder what Dr. Poppy wants them for. Shh, everybody. Here he comes. Three, two, one. Surprise! <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a lovely surprise. Thank you, everyone. What an amazing looking cake. But just one question. What did you need the traffic cones for? They make the perfect party hats for your vehicle friends, of course. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gecko. Gecko's garage today and helping us with Gecko's surprise birthday party. Bye! Bye.
Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane is working on the construction site today. His job is to smash down old buildings using his big, heavy wrecking ball. Go, go, Ryan! Oh no, that wasn't supposed to happen. Your wrecking ball is lost in the river. Poor, poor Ryan, you can't do your job without your wrecking ball. Come over to Gecko's garage right away. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Drive onto the platform and let's take a good look at you. It looks as if the wrecking ball wasn't attached properly. I'll get the mechanicals to find you a new one to try out. Go, go mechanicals! They found you a new wrecking ball. Now, let's see if you can smash this wall. Ooh, it may be strong and very shiny, but that ball is far too tiny. The second ball looks just the thing. Now give it an almighty swing. It's big and heavy and... Oh wait, Ryan can't even hold it straight. The third attempt might smash the wall. It's not too big and not too small. But a glass wrecking ball, I fear, is not the cleverest idea. The fourth one's made of stronger stuff. I hope that it's strong enough. Oh dear, this wrecking ball's no good. We can't smash a solid wall. With wood? Surely now these blocks will fall with a rubber wrecking ball. Ryan swings it back, but no such luck. Look out, mechanicals, quick! Duck! Ah, finally, the real deal. A wrecking ball that's made of steel. It's strong and heavy, not too small. One swing, and then it's... Bye bye, wall! Fantastic! The mechanicals have found the perfect wrecking ball for you, Ryan. And it's held on firmly, so you won't have any more accidents. Time to get you back to work at the construction site. I'm glad we could fix Ryan's wrecking ball. He has important work to do smashing down old buildings so that his friends can build new ones. And now he has the right tool for the job. For more amazing videos, why not tap here to subscribe to Toddler Fun Learning and tap here to watch more videos from me. Hello everyone! Dr Poppy's invited us to a special fancy dress party at the zoo today. We all have to dress up as zoo animals. I promised to help my friends get dressed up for the party. Here they come now. Ryan. Florence. Celia. Andy. Rick. Tony, Tilly, Maisie, and Bobby. Now my friends are here, it's time to get them into their animal costumes for the party. Let's put the truck wash into dressing up mode. Do you know which button is the dressing up button? That's right! It's the green hanger and bow. Brilliant! Now the truck wash is a dressing up machine filled with fantastic costumes. It's time to send the vehicles through. 
In goes Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane. He's going to make you laugh. When you see him all dressed up as a super tall giraffe. Up next is Florence the Forklift. What will she dress as today? She's a baby elephant, all wrinkly and grey. Celia the cement mixer is clean and sprayed and white. She's a stunning zebra, like a horse, but striped. Andy the Animal Ambulance had better stay away from Ryan. We wouldn't want our new giraffe being chased by a fearsome lion. Rick the Reliable Road Roller looks like the next one to go. A couple of horns, a coat of paint. What a scary looking rhino! Here comes Tony the taxi. What's going on in there? A pair of ears and some white spray paint makes a cuddly panda bear. Now it's tow truck Tilly's turn with her clothes from Halloween. She makes a brilliant scorpion. Those claws look really mean. In goes Maisie the mower. Add a new head that's fake. Stretch her out. Add a tongue. She makes a brilliant snake. And now it's Bobby the bus. Into the costume provider. And out he comes with eight new legs. A big, huge, hairy spider. Can you guess what I'm dressed up as? I'm orange, with black stripes and sharp teeth. That's right, I'm a tiger. Rah! Everyone looks fantastic, but we've forgotten to dress the mechanicals. Mechanicals! Stop messing around and drive into the dressing up machine. In go the mechanicals. Each one disappears. And out pop cheeky monkeys. With long tails and giant ears. Brilliant! Now we're all ready. Let's head over to the zoo. Ryan the giraffe, Florence the baby elephant, Celia the zebra, Andy the lion, Rick the rhino, Tony the panda, Tilly the scorpion, Bobby the spider, Maisie the snake and the monkey mechanicals. Hello everyone! <laughs> what a great party! Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye! Danny the diggers dug out a big trench in the soil to build a new road. Here's Dylan the dump truck. 
He's dropping off a load of stones and rubble to put on top of the soil to make the road strong. Dylan, please can you dump the rubble there so that Danny can scoop it into the trench. Dylan's a very helpful vehicle on the construction site. Now that he's helped Danny the digger, he can now take away all these old broken blocks that Ryan has smashed down. Mia, can you help to lift the blocks onto Dylan's dump bed, please? Dylan's a very strong vehicle, so he can carry a lot of heavy things around. Dylan has two hydraulic pistons, which push his dump bed up into the air, so that he can quickly dump his load onto the ground. Just like that. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Something's gone wrong and Dylan can't lower his dump bed again. Dylan, you better come to Gecko's garage right away. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. I hope Dylan can get under the door frame with his dump bed stuck like that. Hello Dylan, you made it through okay. Drive onto the platform so that we can take a good look at you. This is Dylan's dump bed where he carries heavy loads. And these are his hydraulic pistons which are super powerful. They push the end of the dump bed up into the air so that the load can slide out quickly. Hmm, those pistons look damaged. They won't let the dump bed come down again. I'll get the mechanicals to swap them for new ones. Go, go mechanicals! Oh dear! If the mechanicals remove the broken pistons, then the dump bed will fall down and squash them flat. What can we do? I know! This looks like a job for Super Mechanical! Go, go Super Mechanical! Poor old Dylan the dump truck. No wonder he's wearing a frown. He can't bring his friends the things they need when his dump bed won't go down. Super Mechanical holds him steady while the others make him good as new. And now they've swapped his pistons. Let's see what he can do. Dylan's loaded up with tarmac. We repaired him and he's thrilled. He's driving to see Danny. There's a road they have to build. Danny's finished the base layer of the road and now they just need to add the tarmac. Dylan, can you slowly pour the tarmac out please? Brilliant! Your hydraulics are working perfectly now. That's looking good. I think it's time for our other friends to help out. Here comes Rick the road roller to roll the road flat. Great work, Rick. Now the road is flattened, it just needs its lines painting. And look, here comes Sid the skid loader. He has a line painting attachment. What a nice straight line he's painting. Well done, Sid. That looks brilliant. Now the road's finished. We need someone to test it out. Here comes Bobby the bus. He's very big. If the road can take his weight, then it must be really strong. Looking good. Great job, everyone. Bobby's heading off to Gecko's garage to help Helen the helicopter. Find out more in the next episode. See you again soon. Bye. Hello everyone! We've got a real problem at the garage today. 
Rick the road roller hasn't got any roads to roll at the construction site. He's really bored and now he's here flattening anything he can find. Hey, that's my toolbox. Rick. We really need to find something useful for Rick to do before he causes any more damage. Hello, Vicky. Vicky the Ice Cream Van's visiting us today too. She's looking for something new to sell to people at the beach. Ice creams and lollies are okay as a treat, but Vicky wants to sell something a bit healthier as well. Come inside the garage, Vicky, and I'll show you what we've got for you. Check out the Rainbow Smoothie Trailer 3000. It can hold six different types of smoothie, made with yummy, healthy fruit. It's the perfect drink to cool people down during a hot day at the beach. What's the matter, Vicky? Don't you like it? Oh, I see. You like the smoothie trailer, but it's empty. Hmm, how are we going to make the smoothies? My truck friends can deliver the fruit. But we need a way to squash it into juice. That is a problem. Can you think of anyone who can help us to squash the fruit? Rick! Of course! That solves both our problems. Rick gets something useful to squash and Vicky gets her smoothies. We need a platform for Rick to stand on so that he can squash the fruit. Then we can park the smoothie trailer underneath to catch the juice. This sounds like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals! While the mechanicals are building the platform for Rick, let's have a look at the yummy fruit that my truck friends are delivering. Helen the helicopter is carrying a load of giant watermelons. Florence the forklift has crates of juicy oranges. Dylan the dump truck is carrying lemons, pineapples and mangoes. Trevor the tractor has a trailer of crunchy apples and furry kiwis. Sid the skid loader is loaded up with blueberries, grapes and plums. And Max the monster truck has boxes of tasty bananas and delicious ripe raspberries. Let's make some rainbow smoothies. Let's get squashing. We'll start with red. Oh no, Rick's crushing green fruit instead. Oh, now I see why he was so keen. Inside the watermelon is red, not green. Now here's a fruit with nothing to hide. It's called an orange and it's orange inside. It's the juice I love the most. It's yummy with my morning toast. Lemon, pineapple and mango. Rick squashes them up. The juice is yellow. Watch the pipes as the liquids flow into the trailer down below. Next, I think it must be time for apple and kiwi and a hint of lime. The best juice colour I've ever seen. Just like me, a lovely green. Now I don't know what to do. Blueberry juice isn't really blue. So let's add grapes and then a plum. A purple smoothie's just as fun. Just one more box of fruit to go. Squash those raspberries nice and slow. Add some bananas and it's ready to drink. This final one is super pink. Fantastic! Well done everyone. Those smoothies look great. Before you head off to the beach, Vicky, I think we should do a taste test. Mmm! 
Mmm, -mm, these are yummy. The people at the beach are going to love these healthy, fruity drinks. Thanks for joining us at Gecko's Garage today and helping us to make delicious smoothies. See you again soon. Bye. Hello, everyone. Trevor the tractor is going to be visiting the garage today. He works down at Number Farm, helping Farmer George with lots of important jobs. Oh, Trevor, you do look a mess. I'm glad you came to see us so that we can fix all of your problems. Go, go, mechanicals! You really work hard on the farm, don't you, Trevor? But you do need to look after yourself properly. Your plough is all bent out of shape. How did it get like that? In the spring, Trevor ploughs the farmer's fields to get the soil ready for planting. He pulls a big plough behind him. It looks like hard work. Oh dear, those large rocks have really bashed up the plough. Then Trevor helps to sow the seeds. He pulls another machine that throws the seeds out onto the ploughed soil. Now that the mechanicals have repaired the plough, they need to take a look at your poor trailer. How did that get so broken? In the summer, Trevor spreads fertiliser on the crops to help them grow big and strong. Trevor also helps to harvest the farmer's delicious red apples from the orchard. That trailer looks very heavy and full. I think there's too many apples in there. Ah, so that's how the trailer got broken. There, your trailer's as good as new. Now, what about this giant scratch on your paintwork? What happened there? In the autumn, when the crops are ready to be harvested, Trevor uses his harvesting attachment to chop and gather all of the lovely golden wheat, ready to be made into breakfast cereal and flour. Oh no, this tree has fallen over in an autumn storm. Trevor the tractor is so strong that he can drag the tree out of the road so that everyone can get to where they need to go. Look out for that branch. Oh no, it scratched his lovely red paintwork. A quick respray and your paintwork's as good as new. Now, why does your engine sound so grumpy? In the winter, Trevor has to drive through the snow to take bales of hay to feed the horses. Trevor also goes out onto the country lanes to help cars in the snow. Poor Sophie is stuck in a snowdrift. Trevor clears the heavy snow from the road with his snowplow. And then pulls Sophie up the hill. No wonder his engine sounds poorly after all that heavy work. There, the mechanicals have fixed up your engine, re-sprayed your paintwork, repaired your broken trailer and pulled your plough back into shape. After all those seasons, you just needed a bit of maintenance. But now you're as good as new and ready for spring summer, autumn and winter on the farm all over again. See you again soon, Trevor. I'm glad we could help Trevor with all his problems. He should come and see us more often. Thanks for visiting us today. Bye! Great work, Chelsea! will be finished in no time. Old lamp off. New lamp on. Oh, hello everyone. I'm out and about today with my friend. 
Chelsea the cherry picker. We're busy replacing all of the old street lights with brilliant new LED bulbs. They use much less electricity and last much longer. A cherry picker or boom lift has an extending arm with a basket at the end to lift people up and down. I can move Chelsea's basket from this control panel. Would you like to take a closer look? This joystick is the most important control. I can move the basket left, right, higher and low. Ah! Uh oh! Chelsea's arm is going crazy! I can't stop it! Chelsea, you need to drive us to the garage! Quickly! I think I'm going to be sick! Garage doors open at speed! It's time to help a gecko in need! We need to stop Chelsea's arm. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals. Hit the emergency stop button. Phew. Thanks, Blue Mechanical. Oh dear. It's good that Chelsea's arm has stopped moving. But now, I'm stuck high up in the air. Hello? Anybody? There must be a way to get the arm down to the ground again. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Chelsea turn. Chelsea has a sturdy base to keep her standing strong and a red emergency button to press when she goes wrong. She's got four wheels to move around, but as far as I can see, the up and down controls are stuck up here with me. I think the only way down is to get this joystick reattached. But blue, green and yellow mechanical can't get up to the basket. This looks like a job for super mechanical. Go, go super mechanical. Phew! Thanks, Super Mechanical. I thought I'd never get back down to the ground again. I'm glad we could get you repaired, Chelsea. Whilst you're here at the garage, I've got a job for you to do. Can you help us put solar panels on the roof of the garage, please? Solar panels take light from the sun and turn it into electricity. We can use that electricity to help power the lights and the tools in the garage. We can even use it to charge up the mechanicals. It's really good for our planet. Thanks for your help, Chelsea. I think the mechanicals have all earned a rest and a recharge in their new charging stations. And I'll see you again next time. Bye! Danny the Digger's here today. He doesn't need fixing. He's helping me. He's going to do some digging and moving so that we can build a new surprise part of Gecko's garage. First we need this ground all flat. Danny, do you think you can help with that?
Well done, Danny. That's nice and smooth. Now there's even more soil for you to move. I need you to dig me four large holes, so they can hold four metal poles. The first hole needs to be at the top on the left. The second hole at the top on the right. The third hole at the bottom left. And the fourth hole at the bottom right. The holes you've dug are what we need for our new project to succeed. At digging holes you are the best, let's let the mechanicals help with the rest. Go, go mechanicals! One pole in each of the holes. One. Two. Three. The floor goes at the bottom. That part goes on the left, and that part goes on the right. Those bits go at the back, and those go at the front. And the roof goes on the top. Uh-oh, Danny! The roof has to go very high up. Can you help the mechanicals to lift it on? You're a good friend, Danny. We are so lucky. But all that digging has made you mucky. So you'll be the first to splish and splosh in our brand new Gecko's Garage Car Wash. Thanks again for all your help, Danny. See you again soon. Oh no, that tree is blocking the road. An amber ambulance can't get past. I wonder if Danny the Digger can help. Find out what happens in the next episode. Celia the cement mixer is working hard on the construction site today. She's pouring concrete into the ground to make strong foundations to build houses on. This site needs a lot of concrete. Celia, you'd better come over to the depot to get some more. It's just round the corner from Gecko's garage. Concrete is made from different ingredients all mixed together, like a cake. To build a good strong building, we need good solid ground. The ingredients fill Celia's drum, then it churns round and round. Cement, sand, stones and water create the perfect paste. Now it's off to the construction site, there is no time to waste. Celia's drum keeps moving, round and round all twirly-whirly. This keeps the concrete mixture from going hard too early. She needs to get there in one hour. No messing on the way. The construction site is not too far, so that should be okay. Uh, Celia, I think there's something wrong with your drum. It's not supposed to be making that noise. Perhaps you should drive back over to Gecko's garage so that we can take a look.
If it stops turning, then you'll be in trouble. The concrete will be stuck solid in the drum. Oh dear, it looks like Celia is carrying on to the construction site. Uh-oh, a traffic jam. But don't worry, you still have three quarters of your time left. Hmm, your drum is still making a terrible noise. Are you sure you won't come back to the garage? We don't want your drum to... Stop. Uh-oh. Celia, where are you going? If the concrete hardens in your drum, then you'll be in terrible trouble. It'll take days to get the hardened concrete out. We need to get you fixed up right away, back at the garage. Oh no, Celia, what have you done? Your drum has stopped and now your wheel has come off. You can't drive to the construction site or to the garage. And with a drum full of concrete, you're too heavy for Helen the helicopter to pick up. If you can't come to the garage, then we'll come to you. Hold on in there, Celia. We're on our way. Go, go, Helen. Our time is half gone, so we need to get that drum turning again, and quickly. Go, go, mechanicals! Fantastic! Now, let's get that tyre changed. You're all fixed up now, Celia, but we only have 15 minutes left. I just can't see how you can get to the construction site in time. If only there was someone who could help you get there faster. Hooray! Here comes Millie the police motorbike. She can put on her flashing lights and clear a path through the traffic to the construction site. We'll meet you there. Phew! You made it just in time, Celia. But that was very, very close. I think Celia's learnt her lesson. And next time there's something wrong, she'll come and get help from her friends at Gecko's Garage. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Fantastic, Helen. Now, slowly put Millie down over there, on the left. Hello everyone. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with Millie the motorbike. These vehicles are helping Helen with her training exercises. It's important for Helen to practice lifting different vehicles and placing them down without hurting them, so that she can rescue vehicles in a real emergency. Helen's lifting each vehicle and placing them in a special order. Can you guess what the order is? That's right, she's sorting them by size. Starting from the left, we have the smallest vehicle first. Millie the motorbike, Rick the road roller, Max the monster truck, Rebecca the recycling truck, Fiona the fire truck, and, oh, there should be one more. Ah, here he is, Bobby the bus, just in time. Bobby's the biggest vehicle here. Helen, can you please lift Bobby to the end of the line? Oh dear, Helen, I think there's something wrong. Your winch cable looks like it's about to snap. Ah! Oh dear, oh dear, that wasn't supposed to happen. My arm is sore, but I'll be okay. Oh, Helen, you look badly hurt. I'll get Florence the forklift to lift you back up onto your skids and we'll take a look at you. The 
The skids are a helicopter's feet. Helen rests on them when she isn't flying. Your skids seem okay, but your rotors have been damaged. Your winch cables snapped, and you're covered in scratches. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go, mechanicals! I'm really sorry, Helen. You're in such a sorry state. The mechanicals will fix you up, and you'll soon be feeling great. They'll swap your broken rotors, spray your scratches, and much more. Fit a thicker cable to your winch. Far, far stronger than before. Fantastic! Now you're all fixed up, let's head back outside and test your tough new winch out. Let's try sorting the vehicles by colours of the rainbow. Starting with Fiona, the red fire truck on the left. Next is Max, the orange monster truck. Do you know who comes next? That's right, it's Rick the Yellow Road Roller. After Rick, it's Rebecca the Green Recycling Truck. Who's next? That's right, it's Millie the Blue Motorbike. And last, but definitely not least, it's Bobby the Purple Bus. Careful now, Helen. Nice and steady. Brilliant. The mechanicals have fixed you up and made your winch even stronger. You can lift Bobby up no problem. And now the vehicles form a perfect rainbow. And they match the real rainbow up in the sky. Beautiful. Thanks, Fiona, Max, Rick, Rebecca, Millie and Bobby. And thank you for joining us at the garage today. Hello everyone, Leo the limo's coming over to the garage today. He's a super long stretched out car who takes people to special places in style. Oh no, look out Leo. Oh dear, Leo's got a scratch down his side now. And he's covered in mud. That's not a good look. You'd better hurry over to the garage, Leo, so we can help you get cleaned and repaired. Oh dear, that puddle must be deeper than it looks. Leo's wheel is stuck. I call for Helen the helicopter, but there's too many trees and not enough room for her to land. I think it's time to call on our newest Gecko's Garage helper. Tilly the tow truck. Go, go, Tilly! Tilly the tow truck has a big hook that she can use to rescue vehicles in trouble. Tilly's hook is perfect for pulling Leo out of that deep puddle. Thank you, Tilly. Now you can both drive to the garage. Thanks again for your help, Tilly. You're a great new member of our team. Oh dear, look at the state of you, Leo. Leo's supposed to be driving me and the mechanicals to the premiere of the new Star Truck movie. But we can't turn up with him looking like that. We'd better get you fixed up, Leo. Drive through the truck wash so that we can clean that mud away. There, now the mud's gone. Let's get you into the garage, so that we can take a good look at you. Let's all see what we can learn, as we make Leo turn.
Wow, that is a nasty scratch. And your sunglasses are broken too. Don't worry, Leo. The mechanicals will soon have you looking as good as new. Go, go, mechanicals! That really is an awful scratch. But the mechanicals have paint to match. A quick respray. New glasses too. And there you are, as good as new. Fantastic! Leo looks like a super cool dude again. Well done, mechanicals. It's time to drive over to the movie premiere. Jump in, mechanicals. Red, orange and yellow mechanicals. Green, blue and purple mechanicals. Black, white and grey mechanicals. Brown mechanical and pink mechanical. Hang on a minute. It looks like the Mechanicals have invited all of their friends and family to join us. Goodness me, they're all coming out of the woodwork. Leo might be a stretch limo, but he can't possibly carry all these extra Mechanicals to the premiere. He's going to need some help. Here come some helpers now. Maisie the mower, Trevor the tractor, Max the monster truck, Dylan the dump truck, Bobby the bus. Hmm. I'm still not sure there's going to be room for all these extra mechanicals. Let's measure you. Let's measure the vehicles to see how long they are. We can use the crates to help us. Maisie the mower is the smallest. She's one crate long. Next is Trevor the tractor two crates long. The middle truck is Max the monster truck. Three crates long. Even bigger is Dylan the dump truck. Four crates long. The longest vehicle is Bobby the bus. Five crates long. To make more room for more mechanicals, I think we're going to have to turn you all into stretch trucks. Let's press the stretch button. The first one in is little Maisie. Ha ha, this machine is really crazy. It pushes and pulls her, fast then slower. Welcome Maisie, the stretch mower. Here comes Trevor from the farm. Don't worry Trev, no need for alarm. Now he really has the X Factor. Introducing Trevor, the stretch tractor. Next in line is our friend Max. Following in Trevor's tracks. Everyone will be awestruck by Max, the stretch monster truck. Dylan is the next one through. Ready to join the stretched out crew. A twist, a pull, a nip, a tuck. It's Dylan, the stretch dumper truck. Bobby is the last through the machine. It stretches him 
like a string bean. It's Bobby XL plus plus plus. It's Super Long Bobby, the stretch bus. Let's see how long our vehicle friends are now. Maisie the mower is six crates long. Trevor the tractor seven crates long. Max the monster truck eight crates long. Dylan the dump truck is nine crates long. And last but definitely not least, Bobby the bus is 10 crates long. They're enormous. That's everyone on board. Let's head over to the movie premiere. Wow, this is amazing! Thank you to Leo and my other truck friends for driving us to the movie in style. I'm sorry they can't join us all in the cinema. They're too long to fit in the seats. Hang on a minute. This isn't a regular movie theatre. It's a drive-in. That means everyone can watch the film, even my truck friends. Hooray! I'll see you again soon. Bye!